Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed on this fabulous Friday. If you are a newcomer, welcome to my channel. Namaste, love, and blessings to you. And thank you for your support. If you're a returning sub, love and blessings to you also. And thank you for the support. Right now, I'm listening to my dad's song, Holy River. I love this song. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, Recovering After Narcissistic Relationships. Man, it, it doesn't have to come just straight directly from home. It can come from work. It can come from your friends. It can come from peers. It can um, come from classmates. It's just, oh my gosh, you can get it from family members. It, when you're going through narcissistic abuse, and especially with a lot of indigos, we catch it the worst. And it's with empaths, we catch it the worst. I don't know why we attract them, but we always constantly attract them. It's just like dealing with narcissistic people. They will, they will downgrade you. They will make you feel like there's something wrong with you. Anytime you try to call them out on things, they will never admit it. <laughs> they will never admit it. They will end up spewing it out on you when you're trying to tell them, hey, this is how I feel. You're making me feel this way and blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, you're getting beat down for the things that you feel like to where it has programmed you. And it's just like, you know, going through all my videos and I try to, I, I always practice what I preach and it's just. You're going through a lot of things, and it's just like I've told you before, going through my ascension and my kundalini things that I've gone through, I'm still going through grief, and not having full closure, I guess, is really starting to get to me, because there's times, you know, I haven't even, you know, did any videos for the last, like, day or two, you know, usually I've been, lately I've been doing, like, two and three videos, sometimes in the same day, but it's just been so, been so overwhelming to me. And it's like listening to my dad's songs, like Get Me Through the Storm, um, Holy River, In the Bed I Scream. It's just really been uplifting me. I mean, really good vibes. And it's just like I I had to take my life back. Even though I told them, told you guys before, I wasn't going to let my family have power over me. But it's just like once I get on the phone with my friends and they ask me, you know, what is going on? What happened? And then next thing you know, I pour my heart out to him, and it's just like, I'm opening that wound all over again. And it's just like, you're not over it if you can still talk about it. And it's just like, when you know you're over something, you don't talk about it as much. And it's just like, I really don't talk about it in my videos too much anymore, because it's like, you know, I let the universe deal with it. But it's just like... When you're sinking in and it's just time that comes and it's just like when you're losing a loved one, that's already enough to deal with. But it's just like with my dad, it, it just become heartbreaking sometimes. It's really heartbreaking. And it's just like reality sunk in. It's like I would never have that father-daughter father physical relationship ever again until it's my time to cross over. But the only good thing about the situation is that me and him still have a communication. It's like I hear him all the time. And that's a good thing. So he's telling me, you're, you're strong. You have gotten through so many wars and trials and tribulations. Don't tell me you can't get through this. And there's days that I cry and he's just like, stop worrying. There's no reason for you to cry. He'll make a little goofy face. Oh, you know, trying to make me laugh or it's just some kind of corny joke. You know, that he'll send to me and it's like, that. that's not funny. You know, but I end up laughing anyway. He's like, but I made you laugh though. But, I, you know, then I kind of heard his feelings because I said it was corny. But, you know, that's the father-daughter relationship that I, I yearn to have um, throughout the physical, you know, the physical realm. But I'm blessed the fact is that I've had him in my life and I continue to have him in my life. And it's just like, He's telling me, you can get through all this stuff. You're going to heal. I'm going to help you heal. And that's what I've been doing every day. And it's just like when you, you've been through toxic, toxic relationships, and it doesn't have to be with um, a significant other. It can be with family members, like I said, people you go to school with, people you work with. You know, and it's just like 
And it just seems like when you have a kind heart, you're very prone to get that. You will get it all the time just because you have a kind heart. But when I took my, I took my, my power back and I'm just like, you know what? You know everything's going to be okay. You feel it coming. You know, this shift has been going on with my emotions just like spewing out. And it's like, you need to release. You need to let go. You know, there's nothing you can change about this situation. Even though, you know, you're telling your, your viewers, you know, you need to change. You need to, and I look back on my videos and I really feel it. You know, it's like, you need to really believe it. You believe it. Because it, it at one time I really felt like, yeah, I did feel like I was over. It was over with my situation and me feeling this way. But then I'm just like, no, because I keep talking about it. So it's just like when you cut those cords, when you cut those toxic cords, that's what you need to do to get your life back. Take your power back. Let, you, let yourself know you're going to be okay. Yeah, you went through all this abuse and stuff like that, but you don't have to deal with it no more. You don't have to react to it. You can walk away. Leave any kind of toxic relationship that no longer serves you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm walking away from all that stuff because all it is is going to do is that worry me sick. So I can't deal with stuff like that no more. But, you know, when you guys go through stuff, just know, you know, we're going through things for a reason. I can't answer the questions. Um... Uh, to know what is really going on with the world <laughs> about why we go through the things we go through it's just everything is like a big test that we gotta go through you know um it's just people are taken away from us for a reason but then it serves a person a purpose in the long run because with me losing my father it took a lot out of me but it it has added so much back, you know, because I felt broken. I felt lost. I didn't know. I didn't think I was going to make it through this when I found out, you know, I always wanted to find out who my family was. And then when I find out, okay, <laughs> Prince is your father. And it's just like, that was crazy to me. And I was just like, wow. And then learning all the stuff that I forgot all about because the things that I went through in my childhood was so traumatizing. It spilled out into my adulthood. And then it messed with my children on top of that. So I know today is that day where, you know what, you have to take your life back. You have to be the person that you were supposed to be, that you are supposed to be. Forget about what happened yesterday. Don't worry about the things that happened yesterday. No, we cannot change them. And yes, it's a very painful thing that you have experienced, but you know you have to learn from it, grow from it. And you know your story might help somebody else in the long run. They might be going through the same thing. Help them get their power back. But I am not going to hold you guys up today. And I don't know what this song is. One kiss at a time. This is a beautiful song too. But um, I hope you guys have a blessed, safe weekend. And I'll probably go ahead and hit you guys up again during the weekend of just whatever my topic feels like it comes to my mind. My spirit guys tell me I need to talk about. So I hope somebody was able to get something out of my message that I sent today. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button, please. Hit a, you know, drop me a comment. Let me know how you feel about my videos. And I will talk to you guys later. Stay blessed. And have a good weekend and peace and be wild.